Hello again and welcome to Mr. Henning's class video for midpoints on the coordinate plane. Our learning goal for this video is that you will be able to locate the midpoint of a segment on the coordinate plane. First, it, you know, it begs the question, well, what is a midpoint? Well, if it doesn't seem rather obvious, the midpoint is just the point in the, well, middle. Well, duh. Okay, but then how do we know it's exactly in the middle? Well, okay, let's just say that this segment AB here measures 10 centimeters. Okay, so I could, you know, half of that would be 5 centimeters. If I measured 5 centimeters, then it should be 5 centimeters on the other side, right? So how do we know that point C is in the middle? Well, simply stated, that means that we know that the segments on either side of C are congruent. Another way to say this, in this case, is that C bisects segment AB. Okay. We've talked about this word in class before, where we have bi, meaning two, and sect being section. So this line segment has been cut into two equal sections. It has been bisected. Okay, so now we have the basics. But how do we locate the midpoint? Well, let's just start with a simple example. Let's just say that segment AB is on a number line and that point A is located at two and point B is located at eight. How could we figure out where the midpoint is? Well, you know, for most of you, that would be a simple counting measure. We could count in the same distance on each side. So let's count one in on both sides. Two. Ah, we've connected. So the midpoint must be located at five. Okay, that was a pretty simple example. But what if the numbers are a little bit more difficult? Let's just say that we have A located at negative 1 and B located at 101. Then it becomes a lot more difficult to figure out the middle number. We certainly wouldn't want to count all the way in, would you? So, what's another way that we could find what this middle number is? Okay. Well, one strategy you've probably learned in middle school to fi for figuring out the middle number is the average, also known as the mean. Okay, so we could find the mean between these two numbers and figure out where C is located. So, how do you figure out the mean? Well, you just add up the, how, the numbers and then divide by how many there are. So let's do negative one plus 101 and divide by how many are there are, that's two. So, negative 1 plus 101 is 100. 100 divided by 2 is 50. So, the number in the middle must be 50. Okay, so that's a way we can find the middle number. Now, let's actually go to a coordinate grid. How could you figure out where the midpoint is of segment AM? Well, one way to do it is just to do it visually. Just like we counted on the number line counting inwards from 2 and 8, well, let's do the same here. We can break this into smaller segments that have a slope of negative 1 half, going down 1 and over 2. There's a similar one over here at M. Okay, let's keep going. Here's another. And another. Ah, Eureka, we have found the midpoint. Okay. The midpoint, I'll call this one C again, is located at 1 and 1.5. There, that wasn't so hard. But let's say you don't have a coordinate grid easy and convenient for you. How else could you do it? Well, Let's do kind of like we did with the bigger number example in the last one. 
coordinates for point A are negative 2 and 3. Coordinates for M are 4 and 0. Okay, so we could do the mean again, couldn't we? So a way we can get the midpoint from just the coordinates is to find the average of the x's and the average of the y's. Okay, so pardon me while I clear myself some space. Let's do that. So let's find the average of the x's. I can do negative 2 plus 4. Those are the two x coordinates. And divide by how many there are. Negative 2 plus 4 is 2. Divided by 2 is 1. Oh, hey! That's the x coordinate of our midpoint. We can do similarly for y's. Let's take 3 plus 0. Those are our two y coordinates. And divide by how many there are. That would be 3 over 2, or 1.5. Hey, that's the y coordinate of our midpoint. Isn't that amazing? Okay, so let's summarize. Here's our midpoint formula. Okay, the midpoint is given by x1 plus x2. Those are our two x coordinates divided by 2. That's the average of the x's. And followed by y1 plus y2 divided by 2. That's the average of the y's. This is a general formula for how you can figure out the midpoint of any co between any two coordinates, even without a coordinate grid. Okay, now let's also talk about some key words that you'll you may that may clue you in to when you need to use the midpoint formula. What are some other words that could indicate that? Well, it could be center. Obviously, if it says the word middle or midpoint, that should clue you in. Another key word for you to key in on is halfway. All of these refer to a location that is in the middle. Okay, so having gotten that far, let's just do one example. Let's find the midpoint between negative 3, 4 and 1, 7. Okay. The first thing I always do in any of these kind of problems is to label my coordinates. So this is x1 and this is y1. That's my first coordinate in my x and y parts. Then the second one is x2, y2. Then all I have to do is just put it into the formula. So my midpoint formula is x1 plus x2 over 2 and y1 plus y2 over 2. Notice this formula is also formatted as a point with parentheses, comma, and another parentheses because that's how your answer will look. Okay, so let's just put in the numbers. For my x's, my x1 is negative 3, and my x2 is 1. Okay, and my y's are y1 is 4, and y2 is 7. I just need to evaluate these. Negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2 over 2 then 4 plus 7 is 11. Okay, can I simplify any of those? Well, yes. So negative 2 over 2 is just negative 1. Could I simplify 11 over 2? Well, it could be a decimal number. It would come out to be 5.5. But preferably for your answers, always go ahead and leave it as an improper fraction such as that. There we go. We have our midpoint. Okay. I hope you all have enjoyed this video. Make sure you're prepared for the video quiz. Go back and relook at any parts that you didn't understand and make sure you took good notes.